Hey everyone, this is Laura Wiemet with Wiemet Wire Work and More, and today I'm going to show you how to make this really beautiful little hummingbird sun catcher. So the materials we're going to use today is a variety of pliers. We got wire cutters, we got some barrel nose pliers, and then these are a jewelry making plier. Um, you can also use just a good old fashioned blunt nose pliers as well. Um, these ones have teeth however and they will scar up our wire which we want to avoid. So if you can get your hands on some of the jewelry tools, they have no teeth in them. Alright, so anybody that watches my videos knows that I am a big fan of templates. Now I've created this one to make our project and this one will be available on my website and I'll leave the link to the website and my other social media in the description area at the end of the video. So the materials we're going to use for this, it's a 16 gauge wire and this is cut to length to fit the template. Okay, so more or less it fits, but this is just kind of roughed out. We curve it, and then I use just painter's tape in order to hold it in shape. That'll be tweaked a little bit at the end when we attach our hummingbird. So that's a 16 gauge wire, and then we also use the 16 gauge wire to create this little hanger. And that'll be attached at the top of our project. I have a 22 gauge craft wire and then our gorgeous aluminum, colored aluminum craft wire. And this comes in loads of colors. We're rather limited here in Canada, but on Amazon, the sky is the limit. There, it's mind boggling actually how many colors there are of this. And that's a 14 gauge. So we're going to start out by making the throat and the eye, this little curvature, this little curly cue for our hummingbird. Now I'd say approximately six inches, if I can find the end here, to make that. Um, I'm not going to cut this off, I'm just going to go ahead and form it. But that's what I would say is probably about that. Now I'm using these barrel nose, ply nose pliers and you'll see that I use them a lot throughout the project. I just, I just really like them and once again they're non-scarring. Alright, so we got our little curly cue here and we're going to put that where our eye is and we're just going to hold on to it with the tip of our finger and we're just going to move form this wire around that curve. Now as you can see this wire is super super soft and I love it. It's the easiest wire that I think I have ever worked with. Okay so now you can see it more or less follows the pattern and it doesn't have to be exa exact. We'll be tweaking this once we attach our hummer to the hoop and you can see it just it's a more or less it fits right so then I'm going to take my once again round barrel nose pliers and I'm just going to give this a little tweak tweak at the end just to finish off that curve. Okay and there we go. Super duper easy. Okay and that's this part of our Hummer. All right now I'm going to set that off to the side and the next part would be for the <clears throat> excuse me the body of our hummingbird and I am going to in, uh, move on with this project with an armature that I've already bent and this is simply just for um, the sake of shortening this video. So 
So here's the armature that I made. And as you can see, it's an ish shape. It's not exact. And that's part of the joy of handmade. All of, everything is one of a kind. Okay. So we're going to put the template aside. And I'm going to show you the next part of this. Oh, and you know what I forgot? Oops, sorry guys. It's just a green craft wire. And this is what we're going to use to wrap our hummingbird. Now I don't actually cut lengths for this part um, because it depends on how tightly how, or how close your wraps are. Let me just get that out of the way. Bits and pieces all over. So what I do is I just do, you know, an arm's length-ish to start off with. And I start wrapping in this part of the hummingbird because we need to attach our eye and our ruby throat. And that helps stabilize the wire, it helps stabilize the armature so that the rest of the hummingbird is easier to wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. On this part, I've crossed the wires, one in front of the other. Doesn't matter if it's the curly part or if it's the part that makes the wing, but because they join together here, this also helps stabilize them just by attaching them together. Now don't worry about this part of it because once again it's very pliable wire and we'll figure out the final shape of our bird once we get to this point. Okay, so I'm going to continue to wrap. Now I'm going to snip that little little bit there. And this wire is soft enough where you can just flatten that end with your fingers. However, you can come in with some pliers and just make sure that it's it's good and flat. When you finger along it, if you don't feel it sticking up and poking anything, then you're golden. We're good to go. Okay, so now we're going to continue to wrap the rest of our armature. As soon as we get to this spot, we're going to adjust it. All right, so we've wrapped our hummingbird. He's ready to go. 
really like his shape. I think he's quite lovely. Now we're going to bring in our hoop or our loop and we're going to reintroduce our template and we are going to slide that wire just pull on it to actually kind of force it to keep that keep that shape and we are going to get it to fit our template holding on to the wire where it overlaps and you're going to have quite a quite an overlap which is is good it's going to allow you to attach it firmly together but also to your hummingbird okay so we're just going to take our length of wire and find the middle ish of that circle measuring again I'm just going to give it oh, I don't know why don't you give it a half a dozen six eight wraps <clears throat> and this will be adjusted once we come back to this area okay so it's going to hold it in hold it into shape for you try and work out any kinks or any any warbles so oh, that slid a bit let's remeasure yeah just a titch okay good okay so now we're going to take our hummingbird and we are going to lay it on our circle we're going to decide where we want it to be but really you want to start attaching it let me flip this over you want to start attaching it at the center of the tail down here and then just once again provides stabilization okay so that's what we're going to do is we're going to continue to wrap around and anywhere you've got a wire that overlaps the hoop you want to wrap this wire around it and the hoop okay so we're doing two things here we're strengthening the hoop and we're also attaching our bird all right so i'm going to continue to do that just bring in our wire up and if you can see i have crossed over the wire so it has wrapped this and it has also wrapped this Now when I get to this spot where the, the wire is protruding, it's the end, we don't really want to see that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in and we are going to snip that off. I'm holding on to it. Just going to wind. Now you can see I've gotten to the point where the beak is overlapping our hoop. Let's lay him down. Let's adjust this guy so that he's where we'd like him to be on here. I want him to face down a little bit more. Once again, you can see how awesome this wire is. It's so soft and it's so pliable. So there we go. I like him here. I like the way he's sitting in the hoop. So that wire is here on this side of the beak. I'm going to take it and I'm only going to go over it once. If you go over it more than once, it's going to really stand out. You're really going to notice it. And but this way it continues to disappear into the silver, into the aluminum of our outer hoop. Okay. 
couple more wraps. And now this is where we introduce our hanger. Now you can use the template to decide where you want that hanger to be. I just eyeball it though. Really? Just put your hammer down. I want them to face upwards like that. Or do I want them at a little bit of a tilt? I personally like a little bit of a tilt to them. But it's your project. You go ahead and you do whatever it is <clears throat> that appeals to you. going to continue to wrap wrap around here okay now we've come to the part of our hoop where this end is protruding and it's long it's you know this is uh, this is where we want to finish off our our wrap just because it hides the ends of it and we've got all of this wire that sticks out so we're going to just give it bend it forward just a titch just like we did when we cut this other side bend it forward just a titch and then we're going to snip it off Holy moly. Okay, typically I use larger pliers than that. <laughs> and I suggest that you hang on to the end of the wire if you can because that one just went flying across the room. All right. <laughs> so then we're going to take our pliers and we're just going to kind of turn that end up a little bit. All right, and now we just continue to wrap. Now, because we did these ones so close together, and that was just to hold the form of it, so what I've done is I've found the end of the wire that we started wrapping this side with, and I'm unwrapping it a little bit, and that just makes it look neater when we finish off on the bottom here. Okay, now that wire is sitting more or less underneath the wires for the feathers on the bottom. So I'm going to give that a snip. Much easier with these softer, smaller gauge wire. Continuing to take our originating wire. And we want to finish off in the same spot under the feather on the tail. Just keeps it nice and neat and clean. Okay, I'm going to give that a snip there. Taking my flat nose pliers, I'm going to make sure that all of that is pressed flat. And you'll know once again, run your finger along the bottom. And voila! 
there is our beautiful hummingbird and just play around with it adjust it a little bit oh my gosh they just glow there's our sweet little hummingbirds so once again you'll be able to find the template to upload on my website and I'll leave those links below in the description and if you enjoyed the videos please subscribe hit that bell so you get the notifications like and definitely leave me your comments I really love to hear from everyone all right for now that's all thanks so much take care